What's going on everybody and welcome back to the channel. This last weekend two of my favorite creators created videos about counter steering. And now of course being the world's worst YouTuber, obviously I thought maybe I missed some sort of memo. So in an attempt not to miss out on the rush, I'm here to do a little bit of a myth busting video on counter steering. Let's take it away. Okay everybody, so let's start this off pretty simple with a very very important question what in the actual heck is counter steering as the name counter steering may suggest counter steering is the concept of turning the handlebars on a motorcycle left in order for you to turn right and the opposite is also true if you turn the handlebars to the right you're going to make a turn to the left but I can guarantee you this really really doesn't make sense because if you have a look here whilst I'm cruising on the motorcycle here in this parking lot doing some slow speed stuff you can see I am turning to the right and my handlebars are clearly pointed to the right okay I mean you can see that surely Okay, and if I do it in the opposite direction, I'm turning to the left, and my handlebars are clearly pointed to the left. So, what's going on here? Well, you see, a motorcycle doesn't quite behave exactly the way you think. See, a car is very much point the wheel in the direction that you want to go and there we have it but the reality is when I start moving at a faster speed I first need to initiate the lean on the motorcycle by pressing the bars in the opposite direction right watch I'm gonna do this over here let's just set up some nice space to do it okay so I'm gonna pick up a little bit of speed and if I want to go to the right I'm gonna push to the right and let the bike fall over. All right. Now let's go do a U-turn and show you from the other perspective. I want to go to the left, so I'm going to push the bars to the left in order to start turning to the left. Now that's a little bit crazy because it, it really doesn't seem to make sense. So. I think it's very important that I show you a third-person perspective. That's why I bought lens protectors, for fudge sake. Now as you could see from the head-on footage, when I started the turn my wheel kind of slipped off in the other direction, the bike leaned over and then I followed the curve that I wanted to follow, you know, I pushed to the right, bike leaned over to the right and then started turning to the right. And a lot of people kind of say that this isn't the case at slow speeds, that at slow speeds you don't counter steer, you sort of just push the bars in the direction that you want to go. But I kind of argue a little bit because it, it works but it doesn't work so much. I still, even at 8 kilometers an hour, 
if I want the bike to start leaning to the right, I first push and then lean over. So counter steering isn't necessarily meaning that for the entire duration of the turn, you've got the bars pointed in the opposite di direction. But it's more that when you initiate the turn, you start leaning the bike in. And if you want to add lean, then you push more on the side that you don't want to go. Editing Matt over here, I meant to say um, you push in the direction that you do want to go. It's really, really a simple concept that motorcyclists just hopefully don't need to overthink. And I think that's a very, very important takeaway is that if you've ridden a bicycle before or even rode a dirt bike in your life, you've probably, or even a motorbike, you've probably initiated counter steering without even thinking about it which is kind of the important thing is that you don't necessarily want to overthink what you're doing but you if you build up the understanding the fundamental understanding that when i turn a corner the first thing i do is push the bike leans over and then the steering happens that is the thing that's important to remember you see a motorcycle doesn't turn because the handlebars are pointed in a certain direction now, absolute slow speeds yes that may be the case because the bike is standing perfectly upright but when we do this at faster speeds it changes just a little bit and i wanted to show you that with this little practical exercise all right so if you take a look at this motorcycle tire over here you will notice the profile of the tire Basically, every motorcyclist will talk to you, especially one that rides often, about the profile of their tires. Some tires have got a very pointed profile, some are much, much more rounded, and all of that actually equates to how well it steers. So let me show you a little bit of a demonstration. You see, basically how a tire steers is when it's standing up straight, it just rolls in a straight line. It's perfectly understandable, perfectly acceptable. But when the tire leans over and I try to roll it straight, it always wants to correct and actually rolls in an arc. Effectively, it can come back to me. And I can prove it. If I push the tire straight down the hill, it's going to run away. Same thing if I go up. Stands in a straight line until it ran out of road. But now, watch what happens when I push the motorcycle tire with a little bit of uh, angular, with a bit of an angle on the tire, right? It just rolled off to the side and down the mountain and it's not stopping. Traffic. Imagine trying to explain to a neighbor why they've got a motorcycle tire in their back garden. <laughs> Luckily it stopped. <sighs> okay, so let me explain what is going on here, right? If you have a look at the tire, you'll see that the tire rolls all the way up to the sidewall. And when that happens, this part of the tire has a shorter distance tr to travel than this part of the tire. So when you lay it over on the side, the natural tendency for the tire to turn in an arc is because this piece of tire has less ground to travel. And so, as we know with railway lines, and if you take a cup and you roll a cup off the end of a counter, it tends to just spin in a circle. It's the same phenomenon taking place on a tire. It's no witchcraft, it's no magic, just plain physics. So guys, there you have it, you see. Counter steering is not turning left to go right, but instead it's turning left to lean right so that you can turn right. Okay? So I hope that clears everything up. 
and I hope that sheds a little bit of light. I mean, if you guys want to go check out more detailed explanations, you can go check out this video by Chaos Causes or this other video by Fort9 where they explain in more detail exactly all the physics and all that fancy stuff about counter steering and how it works. But if this video teaches you anything or if you take anything away from this video is that I want you guys to think about the fact that you're using counter steering all the time. Don't overthink it, you know, but when you're out there riding through the twisties or messing around in a parking lot like I do or riding on the dirt or whatever the case may be, just remember what you're doing with your input and how it affects the result, right? If you want to turn more to the left, if you want to add more lean, let it push push left let it go to the right a little bit more so that it initiates the lean further to the left and the same if you're doing a long right-handed sweeping turn and you need to add more lean angle like this just push more to the right push more to the right push more to the right and the bike will lean in the direction that you're pushing and one last thing that i want to add to that as um Chaos Cause has mentioned in his video is you don't have to just push to the right okay like I can still steer with one hand if I pull to the left I mean if I pull on the right then it goes to the left you guys know how handlebars work what's one what's true on the one side is opposite on the other and I think that's very important to bear in mind guys so if anything Go out there and practice, get yourself a nice parking lot and go and do some wide turns and some tight turns and practice your counter steering. Think about how you do your inputs. Be like, okay, I'm here, I'm going to push to the left, the bike leans to the left, I'm going to go here, I'm going to go, I'm going to go, I'm going to push to the right and let the bike lean to the right. Yes, the bars will turn in after that steering input has happened but it's the steering input that makes all the difference in the world. And that's why when people talk about doing full lock turns, they first start leaning one way, but then, in reality, they go full lock. Ooh, almost lost it there. Full lock in the opposite direction. See? Guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give a thumbs up, subscribe down below, buy your Casual Riders logo tees, hand painted by myself uh, on shop.casualriders.co.za goes a long way in supporting the channel if you want to help out in another way you can become a patron special thanks to them as always check the links in the description become a patron give a monthly donation to the channel and if you don't want to spend money you don't have to but then uh, subscribe it costs you absolutely nothing and it means youtube will let my video be visible to more people so yeah, hope you guys enjoyed it. Remember guys, life is going to throw a ton at you. But whatever it does, don't look down, look ahead. And until next time, ride safe.